السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين This is Abdullah Khadra and my daughter Sana In this video, inshallah, we will try to explain the 12 uh, letters that we have in the Arabic language but we don't have in the, in the English language uh, hoping, inshallah, through this video that uh, the brothers and sisters and everyone who's interested to uh, learn the Arabic letters correctly uh, can benefit inshallah from this video uh, and especially those who would like to recite the Quran uh, in the right way. Uh, these 12 letters uh, are the Hamza and the Ha and the Ain and the Ha and the Ghain and the Kha and then we have uh, sad, bad, ta, va, then we have qaf and ra. So uh, let's go over them uh, one by one and I made them in three groups. The first group is we call it the halq letters and uh, subhanallah all of these letters we don't have in English any of them. The halq letters are six letters. Uh, the first two letters are the hamza and the ha and they come from the far throat. The far throat means the voice box and let's start with them one by one. The Hamza, uh, which is the, they call it the uh, glottal stop, it is this sound. Ya, this second letter that I'm pronouncing, Ya. And it is pronounced by complete closure of the vocal cords. As uh, I will show you in, in uh, the video, uh, I will put some uh, pictures and videos with my explanation and these videos taken from uh, Sheikh Ayman Suwaid's uh, TV show on, on Tajweed the Hamza Sakina is produced by complete closure of the vocal cords and we have this sound in the British English like they say button, button this second letter ba uh, uh, this is the Hamza uh, complete closure of the vocal cords like this ya t say U T B S S S S This is the Hamza. It's very easy. Just try to close the vocal cords completely. Y B U. The Hamza with Haraka means Hamza with Fatha or Dama or Kasra exists in English. So it is A O E. And everyone can say this. Yati. Yalla Baba. Yati. Yuti. Yuti. Bisa. Bisa. Sha. Sha. Okay, now we move to the next letter, which is the ha. It comes from the same exact place, which is the far throat or the voice box or aqsa al halq. But the vocal cords will be very close to each other as you see in the video uh, and when the air goes through the the vocal cords they will shake making this sound which is the ha sound uh, uh, see? Uh, 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 ha 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 Rahma Mutaha Mutaha This is the, the Arabic ha. Now we move to the next uh, letter which is the Ain. The Ain comes from the middle throat when the epiglottis goes back to the backward of the throat as you see in the video or in the picture. Uh, it is like this. Na'bud, Na'ya, A, U, I, Na'. Say, A, U, I, Na'bud, 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 Na'bud. Look there. Tattali'u ala. 
So the epiglottis goes back to the back wall of the throat, but it does not touch completely. So still the makhraj is open for the sound of the ain to come through. Na, na, bud, na, bud, like this. Na, bud, a, u, ai, na. The second letter is the ha. The ha is also from the same place of the ain, which is the middle throat or wasat al halq, but the epiglottis does not go back to the back wall of the throat as it does with the ain. It goes back but less. And this explains that the ha has a breath with it or what we call hems as you see in the video. Ah, say. Ah, ah. Nah. Nah. Oh. 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 حي حي نح نح exactly good job try to say محا محا very good now we move to the next letter which is the غين the غين comes from the near throat or أدنى الحلق the near throat means أدنى الحلق we produce the غين and as you hear the ga, this sound ga ga, it is exactly like the the Parisian the Parisian uh, ra. So they say ga, they say bari bari. So how do you produce the gain? You touch the soft palate, the soft palate, particularly the uvula, this dangling piece on the roof of your mouth at the end of the roof. So the root of the tongue, as you see in the picture, it touches, if this is the uvula and this is the tongue, so the root of the tongue will touch the uvula this way. And it will bend a little bit. If you hold the mirror and bring it closer, you can see how the root of your tongue touching the uvula like this, making the sound. Try Baba. You see the sound? Okay, that's the rain. And we notice that the hamza and the ha, they are always light. Ayn and the ha, they are also always light, but the ghayn and the ha, they are always heavy. So, gha, gha, gha. We move to the last, last letter in the halq, or the last letter of the throat letters, which is the kha. The kha is also from the same place, almost, uh, the kha is almost from the same place of the ghayn, but it is a little bit closer to the, to the lips, and we don't, touch the uvula as much as we do in the gain. So again, the root of the tongue will touch the uvula or the soft palate like this. Ah, ah, ah. And we find that there's a breath comes with the kha, unlike the, the gain. Say, ah, kha. You notice that the kha also is heavy. Kha. Kha. خي نخ 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 خ خ خ خ خ خ خ خ نخ 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 الحمد لله ربي يهتف باسمك قلبي الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله ربي يهتف باسمك قلبي الحمد لله الحمد لله حمدا إلهي وشكرا أنت يا ما